have no idea what happened but for some reason we couldn't go live anyway technology has finally worked no thanks to donna and i today ladies the sun is shining for the first time in god knows how many months it is time to shed your jeans and jumpers and pull out your frocks indeed ladies it's time to purchase one or two new ones because certainly here in Norfolk the weather is set fair and we have got days and days of sunshine to come. If you are new to World Artichoke, welcome. Push a button somewhere to make sure that you can find us again um, in the future. If you are one of our lovely regular ladies, hello, you know what the form is. Donna and I are the only ones here, so we can't chat to you during the video, but we always, as you know, come and um, answer questions you might have afterwards. As we go through the video, please push the love button when you see something that you love. And it's always um, helpful, ladies, for us to read your feedback afterwards. So comments about the items that we're wearing are very greatly appreciated too. The theme for today was summer dresses, 10 picks for 10 occasions. We have actually found 18, 16 dresses. Donna got up to 10, but it was going to go on forever because much as she promises to, she does chat a bit. And so we don't overrun. We cut dresses out. We're wearing eight each. It's all themed. The first one is a wedding for 30 people. Now, until I think June the 12th, we're not going to know whether larger occasions can go ahead. So for this particular styling session, we've decided that it's not the top hat, the tails, a shrug, matching everything. It's a more relaxed wedding where there are only going to be 30 guests. And this is my outfit. So I am wearing the Point Hell midi dress in evening blue from K Design which is online at £90. Teamed up with it, I have some of our clearance sandals which aren't online, but I am hoping to get them online in the next few weeks. We have very, very few pairs left, but they are only 19 quid, ladies. They're from Fabs. Uh, they are big, so you go down a size. I take a 41 and I am a 40 in these. The dress I'm in is an extra large. Donna and I thought we would mention our sizes today so that those of you who, uh, when we offer you a larger size, just look at us as if we're mad. We want to show you that it's all about the fit, not the number that's written at the back. And finally, I have my little clutch. It's 100% Italian leather. Um, oh, it should, it's got a little tassel at the back. Uh, it is a crossbody, but for, for this wedding, I am wearing it as a clutch. So this is outfit number one, a wedding for 30 people. And here comes Donna. And I didn't know that I've chosen the same bag. But uh, what I've done is I've taken the stuffing out so you can see that um, it's not, if you've got little hands like me, it is easy to carry as a clutch. So uh, we have this bag in all colours, it's £45. I've got it in a lovely silver later on. You can see shout. why I've chosen it now. So outfit number one, my wedding chosen outfit, wedding for 30, is I've chosen the vibrant paisley. Can you hear me okay? Can you thumbs up if you can hear me or do I need to shout? Because I'm hot enough as it is, so if I have to shout, I'm gonna overheat even more. <laughs> Um, so the uh, Vibrant Paisley Sleeveless. So you've seen the Maxi. I think we sh we've shown you the Maxi before. Yes, they can hear me. Thank you. 
Um, um, it looks like it's a button through, but as I discovered when I popped it on today, it only buttons, buttons up to the waist. So it, it, you do have to step into it or over the head. Um, and you can wear the t little tie centre or you can go off centre, whichever you like. And shoes, you've got so many colours in it. I thought it was good for a wedding because uh, your coordinates, obviously, you can go. It would be lovely with matching shoes. I'm not going to go out and buy matching shoes just for this episode. So I've stuck to these are not walking shoes. These are sitting at a wedding shoe. Right, Sarah, are you ready? Yeah. So outfit number one, vibrant paisley maxi. Um, uh, sleeveless. Yeah. yeah, Sarah's ready. Right, so this is my outfit number two. This is not online yet, ladies, because it has only just been delivered. It's from Signature. Um, I don't know actually if it's a linen mix or if it's 100% uh, linen. Uh, but anyway, I can't without showing you my knickers work that one out. It definitely feels like a linen mix. It's very, very cool. And as you can see, we have this tropical print, sleeveless, but the um, shoulders are wide, so they cover your bra straps. Probably much better on a pear-shaped lady because there are hips that you can fill here, but clearly it gives me the illusion of a shape that I haven't got. A five foot seven, this is to the knee and I'm wearing it with my fab sandals, which are 19 pounds. We have these in yellow and we have very, very similar ones in turquoise and pink. So message us if you want a pair of fab sandals. This dress is, I think, £79. It could be £75. It's outfit number two, which is a work dress. And um, I've forgotten what I was going to say next. What haven't I what said? What size are you on? Have you size. I'm in size medium. That's what I was going to say next. Donna, are you ready with your next outfit? Yes. I am. Yeah? Yes. So Donna's on next with her work outfit. Okay, so outfit number two for me is for work. Um, I am in, I forgot to say about sizes, I am in, in this Pomodoro Safari dress, I am in a size eight. In the dress that you just saw me in, I was in an extra small. But watch this space because I am wearing a variety of sizes. So like Sarah said, it's about the cut. Um, it's not about the size. There's one dress here today. I went up two sizes. Um, right, um, so Pomodoro Safari dress comes in three colours. This is the lime. We also have it in khaki. We also have it in black. It will do for a, um, it'll do for a variety of, of, um, of, re of options, uh, days out. But I've chosen this as my going to work outfit. As you can see, you can wear it with the um, sandals. I'm wearing it with our snakeskin bionic sandals um, for £60. Um, you need to phone us if you'd like the look of these shoes. Um, or you could, if you, if you work in a job where you have to wear a more formal heel, then I've left my other shoe on so you can see that it will go with those as well. Black pump. Um, so yes, yeah, so this dress is online. It is £79. And it is made of linen. So linen, great for this weather. Um, three colours. And it's, Sarah's almost ready. Sorry, I've put my dress That's on okay. Back what you do have to do with this dress, I'm going to come closer, and I'm just going to tell you that what you do have to do is um, step into it. So step into it and put your arms in. When I put it, tried to put it over my head, it's um, because it's so fitted here because it's so fitted here and there's no little zip. Um, it's one of those dresses that's difficult to get your arm in, so it's easier if you step into it and go like that. Top tip, <laughs> top tip. Right, Sarah's on her way. Right, so this is garden party. So this is outfit number three, which I am wearing to my garden party. I think my garden party is going to be more of an open garden that's laying on um, tea and cake. And certainly this summer, I am going to see as many in the uh, 
um, what's the garden book called? Is it the Red Cross book? As possible. So um, this dress reminds me of my grandmother. She wore a lot of green. Um, and although I haven't worn green for a very, very long time, I used to have red hair, reddish hair as a child, so it was an auburn colour. Then obviously I dyed my hair blonde, so this didn't really work, but I think now that my colouring, is, my skin is darker and my hair is white, I can revisit green. It is from Sukarna. It is £65. Um, and I, I think you have to go up one size to wear it unbelted and you have to go up two sizes if you want it belted. I and, went up two sizes. Yeah, and I? you wore it belted, didn't you? Now I'm just yeah. going to thread the belt through, if I can find the holes, because this dress is very short-waisted. So at five foot seven, I think it looks great without a belt. But actually, if I'm doing the belt up, this is this is around my chest. My waist is down here somewhere. So I think you probably need to be, if you want to wear this belted, you need to be shorter than me so that your waist is in the right place. But unbelted, I think it's a fabulous very very simple dress that you can wear anywhere as long as you go up one possibly two sizes so this possibly ladies is an occasion where you ring us on 01760724948 so that we can measure from armpit to armpit and get the sizing right before we send it out to you platform sandals are online as is the dress these are our incredibly comfortable platform sandals from Vanessa Wu and I think now the hot weather is here, a pair of them are coming ha home with me because these are certainly standing shoes. We could stand up in the shop all day in these and still be able to walk at the end of it. I think they are £65 for the platforms. Outfit number three, the garden party. The dress is 65, it's from Sukarna. Donna is here with her next dress. Okay, so my outfit number three, chosen for the garden party, is um, the K Design. It, this isn't online, I don't think, yet, is it, Sarah? Have you managed to put yeah, it on? Yeah, no, it is online. It is online, sorry, it is online. Uh, oh, I think this might be... Um, because it's reduced, it might be in the sales shop. Have a look. So it was £75, it's now £52. So it's the K Design sleeveless. Um, K Design, as you know, is uh, one of our favourites because you can just, great for going on holiday, you can just screw them up and they come out looking like this. They're non iron. Um, I'm wearing it with the wedge sandals, which are £35. Um, only a few sizes left. They're by Fab. Um, and because they're a, a wedge, I wear these all day at work. Um, so garden party outfit number three, 52 pounds. Um, oh, I've, again, it's got the belt, which you don't have to wear. So those of you who know me know I like the belt. So you can do with the belt whatever you need to do for your shape. So obviously you can have it in the waist, which I wouldn't. You can, you can make it in the V and make it a feature or the dress, if you want to disregard the belt altogether, the dress doesn't, um, it doesn't miss the belt, if you know what I mean. You can easily remove these, the tiny little um, belt loops, so you can easily remove those, and it's not missing the belt. It still looks a lovely dress without the belt. So if, you, if you're not a belt person, you can disregard that. Okay, Sarah's ready. Right, ladies, so I am now in outfit number four, and I am off to the beach in my Sukarna maxi dress. Again, the shoulders are wide, so they cover my bra straps, semi-fitted to the waist, and then it goes out. So if you've got hips, this will suit you as well, ladies. It has pockets, so that is a great added bonus. It's a very, very soft, I think it's cotton. It feels as if it's a very soft cotton. Very, very easy to wear. 
and in this one I have forgotten what I'm wearing I think I'm wearing a large so I'm in a large in this Sakana dress and I am a 14 to 16 teamed up with our incredibly comfortable flip-flops these are the Paloma flip or the Palomera I think flip-flops they're called we've got them in a couple of colors they have a supportive arch and the thong is cloth so they're very comfortable to wear and these bags were incredibly popular last summer they're the leather tote we've got them back online in navy we've also got them in olive and in green but i haven't had time to pop the bags online yet we had this huge delivery last week uh, but most of you still can't buy them because they're not online but they will be soon ladies this is the leather tote is 51 pounds this is a great holiday outfit whether you're holidaying here in the uk or overseas and I think this is a dress that you will wear for many many years to come outfit number four is the beach dress are you ready my darling um oh I put on the wrong dress oh well at least supposed you... to be you said beach I oh. I progressed right oh, at sorry. least you got it the right way around. right you, I'm gonna miss one because I'm in the next dress so you're gonna have to wait so are for you, my are you having dress. a beach one in later I'm uh, gonna have to miss the it, only so. thing that I can theme that Sukana have running through them is every single Sukana dress so far I've actually put on back to front <laughs> you can tell we've had a long day ladies we <laughs> actually had to kick two people out of the shop yeah. because um, they came a bit late and we need to be ready for you at 4 30. anyway donna's here okay so not in the beach dress so um i'll just swap that one around it's rather hot in here right okay so i'm in a new dress just been delivered um i it, I'll be honest with you it's a little it's lovely it's a tinsy bit big for me so i'm in the i'm in the eight and it needs to be a smaller size for me i'm just checking i'm telling you right or did what I was in the 10 yes I'm in an eight so look it's coming up big because all of these other dresses that I've been in um the, the K design I wear an extra small um but the other dresses that I wear are an eight so this is a large eight so if you're between two sizes ladies you need to go for the um smaller one because it does come up big so this is called get the right one pomodoro striped linen shirt dress um, so it is online, um, it is, um, I'm wearing it with the white, right, two options. So this is for my going to the city, um, day out at the city. So imagine that it's fitting me a little bit better. It has got pockets here, it's very cool to wear. I'm wearing it with a very comfortable Orca Bay Florence shoe, because um, I like the colour, the colour match is good. Um, or, obviously, it looks great with the um, white um, platform, the canvas platform trainers that we do. So the Orca Bays are, Orca Bays 75. 75, 75, and the white canvas platforms are 29. So there you go, ladies. Um, so, is, no, we just went, we're having necklace case. I'm seeing out the corner of my eye that Sarah, yet again, yet again, is untangling necklaces. This is, this is a common running thread from each video that we do. So, right, sorry I'm to there. confuse the outfits, but I will change this to my outfit for. So my outfit for is a day out, so a day at the city, um, or a day out anywhere in the very comfy, easy to wear Pomodoro striped linen. Here we go. And I will now come back with the beach wear I should have been wearing. That's lovely. Right, ladies, I'm just going to pop some things over here because I'm going to get changed for the evening halfway through. So one of the places that I hope to go to this year is Liverpool. I haven't been to Liverpool probably for nearly 30 years. Um, I think the last time I went was when the Tate Modern there opened. 
Um, it was definitely before I had the kids. It was when I used to work for a shipping company and I skived uh, for a couple of hours and popped over to Liverpool. So here I am, ready for a great day, pounding the streets in my Sakana sleeveless maxi, again with pockets. And um, this is, uh, somebody's banged on the door, which has slightly thrown me. This is 81 pounds. I'm wearing it with my trainers which are 70 pounds. These are the Vanessa Wu trainers. I think Donna's taking a delivery midway through this video. <laughs> She's wandering around. Sorry, delivery with one taken. one shoe on and one shoe off. Well, at least I had my dress on. <laughs> <laughs> and your pants back on as well. She had black pants on. So we're gonna leave you to guess which dress she had to wear without her knickers today. <laughs> So, a trip from the city, Sakana dress is £81. This is also available in Fuchsia um, and is online. These are the Python platform trainers, which are online at £70. And I have my trusty Chanel handbag, a faux Chanel handbag, the large at £120. And this is the Cafe Olay necklace from Dante absolutely beautiful and is an investment at 45 pounds and 50 pence we only bought four of these because i didn't think we'd sell that many and i think this is the last one left so ladies if you were hoping to hang on to the sale to get this particular necklace i would change your mind now and buy one so the reason i had to disappear is because i'm going to lose my necklace and pop on my pebble necklace and then for the evening I'm going to take out my shoes which I've been carrying around in my handbag all day and I'm going to pop them on if I don't fall over the chair uh, for going out to the theatre or for supper in the evening so this is outfit number five and it is a day in the city which we're all looking forward to donna's back with her beach wear okay so my outfit number five is my uh, beach wear um i am wearing i am wearing the mxo um airtex dress which is a remarkable 29 pounds um, and also comes in the white. So the white looks a little bit like a tennis dress. Ooh, actually, there you go. You could have that as a tennis dress, couldn't you? So um, we've got uh, the navy and we've got the white. So I'll just pop that down somewhere. Let's pop that down over there. Um, right, I'm sorry, I could not decide on the shoes. So you've got three, you've got all three. I don't have the feet for flip-flops. I don't have pretty feet for flip-flops. So obviously going to the beach, most of you will be wearing flip-flops and these are a bargain at 19 pounds so we have them in both colors i think sarah's shown you one color so these are the navy online and 19 pounds and they do have a heel which is um so i'm surprised actually that um i don't still don't like my feet in flip-flops even with a heel so what my option would be to go for the platform um uh, canvas trainers so again both colors go so the white very on vogue at the moment and we have red and we also have black so there you go so um size wise i am in a small so the small i'd say is i'd say the small is an eight is a good eight um and if and it and it's a very as you can see it's a very fitted dress so um and it's fitting my shoulders at the eight so yes so the small comes up an eight so the medium is going to be a 10 and that is the mxo airtex dress there we go right. and sarah's ready loving this one right so ladies i'm hobbling because i didn't get my shoes done up properly um, and I think I've still got the petticoat wrapped around the waist in this one. Yeah, yeah, I have actually. Let me just pull it down a bit. Then it won't be quite so bulky in the waistline. So I forgot to tell you in the last video that I was wearing the large black dress in the Sicana. I'm 14 to 16. 
I'm now in the medium in the K Design Maxi. Again, I haven't shrunk, but the dress is slightly um, um, more stretchy. And it just means for this particular style, I can get away with going down a size. Normally it's completely the other way around. If I was in the Vibrant Maxi from K Design, I would be back in an XL. So the little, I'm doing skin on skin with the sandals. Again, they're part of our Fabs clearance. The two pairs I'm wearing today are actually mine. These are not online either, but they are still 19 pounds. So if you fancy a pair of these, message us with your size, remembering they're big, so you need to go down the size. And then we'll have a little look in the storage area to see if we can find them for you. Um, I have actually come without my bit of paper, but from memory, this dress is £85. Cheers, Donna. Uh, yeah, it's £85, and you can see that it's got the detailing across the waist, which is actually, a, this is where my the thinnest part of me. So um, this is a great place for me to have a waistline and it's got the side split. Now, both Donna and I struggled with the concept of date night because we don't have them. If I want to see my husband, I get in a vehicle and I drive around and look at animals. And actually, for the date nights that we do have, well, Donna's going to tell you about her date nights. Oh, no, when I wasn't going to <laughs> Well, anyway, we just work on the basis that if we're having a date night, we were not wearing a dress anyway. So we're not sure why you would want to get dressed up. But if we were going out anywhere this summer to a barbecue or we were going out in the evening with friends, this is what we would wear. Are you ready with yours? Yes. I'm I loving am. that with platforms. That's why I'm. But yes. you can dress it down with trainers. Wow. Well, this is what I'm doing. I wanted to show you that you can dress this. So, this is the dress I've chosen for date night. And the joke was that for my date nights these days, oh God, I don't even want to say it. I was going to say it's just a dressing gown, really. <laughs> um, uh, just, anyway, so, but you can, so you can dress this up. If I put on my heeled pumps, this dress would do for work this dress um with my i put on put it on with the flat forms that Sh sarah showed you earlier um and and you can dress it down with the um canvas trainers and i actually in all honesty i'm normally more comfortable in a heel you all know that i feel better in this dress in the flat canvas um trainer so there you go that's a first for me um, so this dress is by K Design. Let me make sure I've got the right one. It's called the Contemporary Print Dress and I'll come up close so you can see the print. So we've got little bits of green, we've got lime, we've got some blue. I'll turn around. So the belt this time, you can't get rid of this belt. The belt this time, ladies, is built inside the dress at the back. Um, Contemporary print dress by K Design, eighty pounds. Sandals are sixty five. Canvas shoes twenty nine. While I undo this belt to just show you, so what you could do is just tie the belt loose. If you if you love the dress and you can't tie um, tie it tight round your waist, you could have it like this. You don't have to tie it tight up here. You can just loosen that belt and just um, wear it loose there. Um, but again, sorry, let's, I'm probably opened, should op have opened up, it is date night after all, let's open up a <laughs> <laughs> uh, There you go. But it, it's, as you can see, it'll do, it'll do um, for, you'll wear it again. It'll do for work, it'll do for date nights, it'll do for an evening out. It'll go into the winter. It, it'll, it will go into the yeah. winter with tights and boots. This yeah. would look great with boots. Yeah. Absolutely boots. fab. Yeah. And, and, and one of our famous heavy neige yellows. <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the K design. But, but... I'm in an extra small and I have a feeling there may only be another size left. Um, so again, extra small in this is an eight um, and there's one larger size left. Okay. Right. So so you've got lovely in flip flops. Uh, lo My feet don't look.
love that good in flip flops. Oh yeah, no, I love flip flops and I was really sad when I became orthotic woman because I always, all summer, I used to wear monsoon flat flip flops, the, the goldy ones with sparkles on them. And I haven't really been able to wear flip flops since apart from bionics. These, however, are very, very comfortable. I couldn't find a 40, so I'm wearing a 41. They are too big and the arch is in the wrong place with these. So that's why I'm walking a bit funny because I'm also struggling to get them on. But in the right size, they're fab. So don't do date nights. The other thing I would rather not have to do, however long I live, is go to a festival. When all my mates went to Glastonbury in our 20s, I stayed at home in Ipswich where I had a lavatory and a hairdryer. And my attitude hasn't changed since then. The only festival I would consider going to is Latitude if I could go in a little mobile vanny home thing so I had my own lavvy that I could nip in and out of. So providing I've got access to my own lavatory, I'm quite happy to drive to Southwold and sit there for a few days. But quite frankly, all the others are my idea of hell. In fact, I used to spend my entire life going to concerts. You're looking at the woman who's seen Bowie, I think three times. The idea of going to a big concert now fills me with abject horror. The only two people, oh, I wouldn't mind seeing Steve Earle, you two I've never seen, and also Snow Patrol. I would conquer my need to go for a wee every 45 minutes to go and see them. That's the problem I have now, is I would be permanently in the, in the loo queue. I want to see Michael Bublé. Oh no, oh my God. <laughs> We've thought, the only thing we disagree over is our musical taste. Anyway, back to a festival. This is the fine cotton batik dress from Pomodoro. It's 74 pounds. This afternoon, somebody came in here and bought this and she was a bit shorter than me so that it came to here on her. And I think personally, I would be much, much happier if this dress was two inches longer. It's two inches too short for me in the body and that goes all the way down. But I love it. This is actually my dress I've been wearing all day. Um, it's got a little belty thing, so I've pulled that in at the back just to show you, but I think I probably would lose the belt. Again, we haven't got many of these left, ladies. In fact, with all our dresses, I really wouldn't rest on your laurels. If you see something you like, I'd crack on because we find ourselves yet and again in the position this season where we can't repeat. If you want some Angelica Magic Stretch jeans in white, if you want some jumping capris in white, if you in, in, in any colour actually, and the same for the 1913s, if you want 1975s in white, you need to buy them now. We cannot repeat and we are getting very, very short in sizes. Uh, so the flip-flops are 19 pounds. I'm off to a festival, as is Donna. So she's coming on now with her outfit number seven. Okay, so outfit number seven, and I, I'm in heaven. <laughs> um, because I love dresses. Dresses are just very much me. And the reason I love dresses so much is because I went through my entire youth, teenage years, early 20s, never been able to find a dress to fit me. I was three stone heavier than I am now. And when you're five foot nothing, three stone, trust me, is an awful lot. And so I couldn't, a dress that fitted me on the top drowned me on the hips. So to, to get a dress to fit me, and I had no idea what an Empire, Empire Line dress was. I was in my early 30, uh, 20s. I had no idea about Empire Line or what to look for, basically. So I just couldn't, um, I couldn't find a dress. So I'm making up for it now, and I love dresses, and I've probably got a dress for every day of the um, year, a new dress for every day of the year. Anyway, so this is my outfit number seven. This is my going to a festival. 
And I will say that what Sarah probably doesn't realise is that nowadays festivals, um, you can go to mini festivals, which is what I do. I don't go to the big festivals because I don't do lots of people. I don't go to London because I, uh, can't, I, I can't deal with lots of people. But I love going to mini festivals. I go to a festival called Fantasy Forest, which is amazing. And so that's why I've added the little bit of bling. So... This is going to be my going to Fantasy Forest dress. So um, the bling, let's start with the bling. So the same bag, but this time I'm wearing it as a crossbody. Um, bling, for the because it is a festival. So in the silver, £45. It matches my flat form um, tennis shoes. And the flat form tennis shoes are £70. And the dress, finally, is by Hatley. And it's the Hatley dress, and it's called the Lucy dress. It's got the lovely notch neck, which I love. Um, I am in, oh, I forgot to check what I was in. I suspect in Hatley I'm in an extra small again. So Hatley's dresses, dresses come up very like the K design size-wise. So if you, if you have the K design dresses, then, and you're wondering about what sizes to go for Hatley, you need to look at what you bought for in, in K Design. So there we go. Um, so lots of colours in it, so your shoes can be lots. It, this would look great with the flat form trainers as well, obviously. And Sarah's ready. So there you go. That's my festival outfit, Fantasy Forest Festival. Okay. Okay, right. So I am back and I am going out for afternoon tea. And I am wearing my lovely floaty maxi from Pomodoro, which ticks an awful lot of boxes. Now, Donna, Donna can wear this as well. She's actually going to show you at the end of this video. She's going to come on and show you how she can wear a maxi as well. This is reduced from £95, I think, to £65, and it's online. Ladies, we think this is a very generous cut because I am actually in a size 12, which is unheard of. Now, I'm just going to undo this so that you can see why it ticks so many boxes. So it's got a side zip so it can be fairly fitted. It's got the plunge here, but it's not too low so that it gives a bit of skin, but also the straps are wide enough for you to be able to wear a bra underneath. And then of course it's darted over the bust. It then goes out at the side. So there is a lot of room for hips here, ladies. But this very, very clever belt pulls the dress in at the front as much as you need it to, to give you shape. I am in the chambray because we don't have the turquoise in 12. Um, it is, I think from memory, 100% visco shell over a cotton lining. And um, we've got a reasonable number in each size. But every time somebody comes in the shop at the moment, they're leaving with one. So again, although we have got a reasonable run of these, they've just arrived. And Pomodoro have enabled us to give you a bit of discount um don't hang around i think these dresses are going to be very very popular outfit number eight which is afternoon tea with the girls and i think i'm going to look gorgeous in this okay sarah and i've messed up again and i've no idea how because i was supposed to now be coming on wearing the other I think colorway we've, well, in that I think dress we've gone in the wrong order i yeah. think you should have gone on first. i should have gone on first that's what it's that's what's done it but i can do that so i'll really whiz through this so this is my outfit number eight it's the afternoon going for afternoon tea with the girls i again i wanted to show you a variety of shoes flat form tennis shoes and um all each, each of the colours of the flat form canvas would, would look good with this. Um, I do feel better in these with it, I have to be honest. So I think if I had a choice, I would go for the flat form tennis. Um, so this dress is by Hatley. It's the, can, uh, it's the Cara shirt dress. So um, Cara shirt dress, it is £100, flat form trainers 29 and the uh, tennis shoes are 70. Um, what can I say about it? So it is a button through. It has, if I come up close, can you see it's nipped in just at the back. It's got a little bit of a nip in. And I am in, uh, I think this is the small. 
um, and, but it is a button through shirt dress. There we go. And I'm going to whiz off quickly and um, get Sarah to come out and talk to you. And I'm just going to whip on the other colourway so you can see the dress that Sarah had on on somebody who is five foot. Are you ready, Sarah? Yep. Chat. I forgot, ladies, uh, when I was wearing my festival dress from Pomodoro, that actually because it is a button through, this would make a gorgeous summer coat. So, as always, I'm trying to think of, of as many ways that I can wear any item that I buy. And I definitely will be wearing this undone over some 7 8 white jeans and a white t-shirt. I think that that will look fabulous. So done up, it's a gorgeous floaty dress, but equally you can wear it as a summer coat. So again, it's per a perfect piece for holidays, especially when we all start traveling again next year, when we have to think about luggage um, restrictions. You will be able to wear this in several different ways. So whilst Donna's quickly getting changed, I'm just gonna talk you through the rest of the week. There's no Sunday styling because we are really behind here. We've got to get stuff online. We are two weeks behind with our jeans and trouser orders, which is why there are gaps. And equally, we need to re-merchandise this shop. At the moment, it looks like a cross between a warehouse and a jumble sale. So Sunday will be spent with the doors firmly locked, getting a grip on our lives. And the reason we are in such a muddle, ladies, is because you have just been so fabulous. The shop is still busy. We're still busy online. Um, we've taken the decision just to muddle through uh, to see how long this lasts. But clearly, if we continue to be as busy online and continue to be as busy as we are in the shop, we need to make um, some decisions about the future. So please, ladies, we continue to ask you to bear with us. We know that upon occasion, we're not offering our usual uh, level of service that we would expect to be able to offer you. But if you can just bear with us until we get through this summer, and then we'll have a, a better idea of where, where, which direction this business is going in, and then we'll be able to get more people on board and to um, get back up to the level of service that we would expect to be able to offer you. I think Donna is ready with her dress. I just haven't done my shoes yet. Okay. So we wanted to talk about sizes. Yes. Yeah? So I'm in a 12 and I don't think, you know, we tried the 14 and it buried me. It yeah, was far it's too big here. We thought actually, ironically, although it doesn't really make sense, if you were flatter chested, you probably could get away with the larger size because it will fall. If you have a look at Donna, I mean, the right. length is fat. So the, the length is really good on me. It's a maxi, it's a full length. I might have to shorten this slightly so I don't trip over that. Um, so, but if you if I did that up, obviously I wouldn't be tripping over it. But it does have a little zip here. So what we decided was that if they put a zip in a dress, it's supposed to be fitted. So we think that this is probably too big for me, that it needs to be more fitted, which means that as this is an eight, it means that if this is looking too big on the top, that it's gonna come up large. So if you're between two sizes, then um, you might want to think of to, to get the lower size, get the smaller size. Yeah, but we're always happy to do the armpit to armpit yeah. measurement, ladies. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we both come up together, yeah. I think that you can see that it is a bit big on Donna, yeah. but obviously if you like a looser fit, it's gonna work. It's just that, you know, I think that she needs, she would need to go down a size. So this is one of the very few Pomodoro dresses where you consider going down a Thanks. size. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you for shopping with us. We're going to be back next Thursday. Um, Sandy is coming into the shop tomorrow and we're planning a really special video with Sandy. And that is for, we've had lots of requests for this after Donna did her video for petite dressing. We've had lots of requests for dressing taller ladies. And uh, Sandy is 
five foot, it was, she says she's eight, but she's near, she's five foot 10 or 11. I think that she thinks she's smaller <laughs> than she is. And she's also a good size 16 to 18. So what we're gonna do is put together a rail of clothes that she's picked that suits her frame. And then we're just gonna get her to do a bit of dressing up. So that is coming very soon, ladies. It might even be here next Saturday. But if it's not, then we're gonna go through our summer navy rail. So you've got lots to look forward to. Um, I'm having some more time off in a couple of weeks time when my girlfriend Biddy's coming to stay. So June, we're probably only gonna be doing one video a week. Um, but we just think that it's better that we do one properly than do half, do two at half cock. So thank you for watching. We hope you've picked up lots of fabulous tips and we will be back here next Thursday. Have a lovely weekend, ladies. Bye.